Hello, found families, and welcome to the Parent Recap for week three of Zoom. We have been zooming in and zooming out of the first few books of the Bible. This week, we found ourselves in Leviticus, and our big idea this week was Jesus is the ultimate atonement, so we can put our faith and trust in him. So we were zooming in and zooming out on Leviticus, just like we did in Genesis and Exodus. We took a peek at the tabernacle. We talked about the curtain in the tabernacle and the most holy place. We talked about Aaron, the priest, and some of his special robes and how he was anointed to be set apart and help lead the Israelites um, in their relationship to God. We talked about the Day of Atonement and the special day of the year that it was. We talked about how Aaron was commanded to kill a bull um, and sacrifice it and sprinkle its blood on the Ark of the Covenant to um, be in right relationship with God, with for his family. And we talked about how he was also commanded to take two goats to, again, kill and sacrifice one of them, again, sprinkling that blood on the ark, um, and then using the other one as a scapegoat, um, putting kind of the sins, a representation of putting the sins on that goat and sending it off into the wilderness. Wow, I had um, some kids saying, that's animal cruelty. I had some other kids saying, can we stop talking about blood? Um, but this is an important, important topic. These animals we did talk about were indeed innocent, but we talked about how God cannot be in relationship with sin. He is holy. He is just. He has to be separate from sin. And so the sacrifice of this innocent animal paid the price, covered it up, made things right so that God could be in right relationship with his people again. And this kind of foreshadowed Jesus coming, who was innocent, who was blameless, who once again was sacrificed so that God could be in right relationship with his people once and for all. One and done. Jesus Christ sacrificed it all for us. So our key verse this week was Jesus is the atoning sacrifice for our sins. Not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. First John 2, 2. One more time. Jesus is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, not only for ours, but also for the sins of the whole world. First John 2, 2. I look forward to seeing your kids next week as we jump into the book of numbers. Be doing the go home guide with your kid every night during devotional. Draw it, read it, pray it, journal it, talk about it, incorporate it into your weekly conversation. Um, 10 a.m. Look forward to seeing your kids there.